let's discuss uh, exercise 6b question number one find the perpendicular bisect of the line segment joining each pair of so a equal okay a and b this is the line segment minus 5 and a and 7 and 2 now append bisector so what is the middle somewhere here so bisector i do a bisector not this bisector it has to be perpendicular not this one so this is now 90 degrees now i want to find the equation of this line as i discussed earlier to find the equation Do you know the gradient of this line? No. Can you find the gradient? Yes, you can find the gradient. If you know this gradient, then we can find this gradient. Okay, we'll work out gradient AB. MAB equal 8 minus 2 Y minus Y1 divided by X minus X2 minus 5 minus 7. 8 minus 2 6 this is uh, 12 so minus half then uh, i will name this one is l we know that m may be times gradient of l should be minus 1 as uh, lines are perpendicular then this is minus half a times ml equal minus 1 ml equal 2 now i know the grad gradient 2 now do i know an, any point to write the equation no but i know that i can find because this bisector going through middle i can find the middle of this line x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So then uh, I will write, uh, okay, middle, middle of line, middle of AB, x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2 so minus 5 plus 7 2 2 divided by 2 is 1 uh, 8 plus 2 10 10 divided by 2 is 5 so now i know this point is 1 and 5 now i will use the formula y minus y1 equal m times x minus x1 y mean y minus 5 equal 2 times x minus 1 so y minus 5 equal 2x minus 2 i mean y equal 2x minus 2 plus 5 y equal 2x plus 3 Question part B. Um, we want to find the gradient uh, equation of this line. I will take this is L. And I want to find the gradient first. Then this point and we can work out like earlier. So to find the gradient, I should know gradient of CD. Then MCD equal 25 minus 7, 2 minus minus 4. This is going to be 18 over 6, which is 3. Now, we know 
mcd times ml equal minus 1 as lines are perpendicular. Hence, 3 times ml equal minus 1, ml equal minus 1 over 3. ML equal minus 1 over 3. So this is minus 1 over 3 grad gradient. Now I want to find this point. Uh, mid of CD. Mid of CD. X1 plus X2 divided by 2. Minus 4 plus 2 divide by 2 y1 plus y2 divide by 2 so this is going to be um, minus 2 divide by 2 minus 1 25 32 and this is going to be 16 then the equation is y minus y1 equal m times x minus x1 y minus y1 mean x1 16 minus 1 over third x minus minus 1 so this is the middle point minus 1 16 so i use this gradient and this point to write the equation so y minus 16 equal minus 1 third x uh, this is plus plus again negative minus one third x minus one third plus 16 it will y equal one third x plus three times 16 48 minus 147 over three part c EF line segment 3 minus 3 and F is 13 7 so we want to find as usual the equation of this line first of all we'll find the gradient of this line as a result we can find the gradient of this L then uh, we know the gradient then we'll find the midpoint and then we'll write the equation uh, Gradient of uh, EF is Y1 minus Y2 minus 3 minus minus 7 divided by X1 minus X2. 3 minus 13. This is minus 3 plus 7 over minus 10. So this is going to be 4 over minus 10 minus 2 over 5 uh, ml times mef is minus 1 ml times mef minus 2 over 5 is minus 1 uh, ml is 5 over 2 now i know the gradient of this line now I want to find the midpoint. Uh, midpoint of EF. X1 plus X2 divided by 2. X1. X1 3 plus X2 divided by 2. Y1 plus Y2 divide by 2 so this is going to be 13 16 8 and this is going to be a minus 10 minus 5 now we know the gradient of the line 5 over 2 and we know the point on the line now we can write the equation y minus y1 equal m times x minus x1 y minus y1 y minus y value is minus 5 
equal 5 over 2 times x minus 8. So y plus 5 equal 5 over 2x minus, uh, this is going to be 4, 4 times 5, 20. So y equal 5 over 2x minus 25. We had write the reason for this one, minus 1, as lines are perpendicular. Uh, so line segment is PQ, same as when we want to find the equation of the line. So we'll find the middle point, also the gradient, and we can write the equation. For that, we need to find the PQ gradient first. And PQ equal 7 minus minus 1, y minus y1 divided by x minus x1. Now you can see this is going to be cancelled out. So we'll look at what is going on now. We'll draw uh, in axis. So this is... Uh, x axis and this is y axis which is x equal minus 4 line so one coordinate is uh, minus 4 minus plus 7 so this is minus 4 minus 4 plus 7 is here minus 4 plus 7 and other coordinate is minus 4, minus 1. So this one is minus 4, minus 1. Then uh, this is, so we want to find the gradient equation of the perpendicular line. So this is x-axis. Uh, Yeah, this is x axis, this is 0, those are the two points, those are the two segments, this is P and this is Q. Now, we know that when we draw like this, uh, this line perpendicular bisector is parallel to x axis it means we have to write the equation as y equal 4 y equal minus 5 something like that now if we know the y value of this point we can straight write the answer we will find the midpoint first of all uh, midpoint of uh, PQ that is 7 plus minus 1 sorry x1 minus x1 plus x2 minus 4 plus minus 4 divided by 2 and uh, y1 plus y2 divided by 2 we know this is definitely minus 4 because it is on minus 4 line and this is going to be 7 minus 1 6 divided by 2 3 so this is minus 4 3 it means this is y equal 3 line now simply we can write the equation of the line is y equal 3 Uh, gradient of part E. So first of all find the gradient MST equal y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2. This is going to be 4 over 9 and now we'll find the 
perpendicular gradient uh, 4 over 9 times ml equal minus 1 gradient perpendicular gradient is minus 9 over 4 now we'll find this point uh, midpoint uh, of uh, st which is uh, x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus uh, minus 1 divided by 2 this is uh, 4 plus minus 5 divided by 2 which is going to be minus half and this is going to be 5 this is 4 over 3 not 9 so this is 4 over 3 then this is 3 over 4 now we can write the equation y minus y1 is 5 equal minus 3 over 4 x minus uh, minus half so y minus 5 equal minus 3 over 5 this is going to be plus and multiply by minus become minus again mm. 3 over 5 times half which is uh, 3 over 8 y minus 3 over 4 x 3 over 8 plus 5 then y equal 3 over 4x um, plus uh, 40 minus 3, 37 over 8. So this is the equation. Question number f. This point is x and y. x and y point. When I look at I saw that this is 11 and this is also 11. It means those two points lies at y equal 11 line. Now this is y equal 11 line. So x equal 5 here. 5 11. Another one is 13 11. This is x and this is y. Now perpendicular gradient, perpendicular line is parallel to y axis. Hence, if we know the x gradient or x value of this x, x value of the coordinate, then that is going to be the line now we'll find the uh, middle midpoint x value of midpoint uh, middle of uh, x y is 5 plus 13 divided by 2 which is 18 divided by 2 which is 9 it means the equation of this line is x equal 9 you don't need to find y even but we'll find the y to complete uh, yes the y value is 11 because it is on this line so y value is 11 you can find 11 plus 11 over 2 as well, 22 over 2, which is 11 again. So the equation is x equal 9.